feel like you're not taking this quiz seriously. My memory's a little hazy. <laughs> 90 seconds on the clock for Chris Martin playing Better Days Quiz. It's the 29th of May, 2016, and it's the day that Coldplay headlined the big weekend in Exeter. Your time starts now. Which world-conquering British band headlined Radio 1's big weekend on the 29th of May, 2016? The Eagles. Incorrect, it was Coldplay. On this day, Pixar released the trailer to Finding Dory. It's the sequel to which film? The Incredibles. <laughs> no, Radio 1's big weekend was hosted in the grounds of which Devon Castle? Um, Windsor. <laughs> it was Powderham. Chris Evans poked fun at Jeremy Clarkson as he presented his first episode of which car show? One Direction Drive Minis. No, it was Top Gear. This was the day that Mel B celebrated her 40th birthday. Which legendary girl band was she in? The All Saints. No. <laughs> I'm going to stop the clock. I feel like you're not taking this quiz seriously. My memory's a little hazy. <laughs> not a big quizzer. Great. No? Let's do the rest of them and I'll get them right. Here we go. Okay, what day of the week was the 29th of May 2016? Saturday. It was a Sunday. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 the band Coldplay opened their big weekend set with which song from their album A Head Full of Dreams? Uh, yeah. Which Gallagher brother celebrated his 49th birthday on this day? Uh, no. It was no. Amelia Clark talked about a potential spin off for Game of Thrones, but who does she play in the series Game of Thrones? Um, Daenerys Targaryen, Lord of the Andals, um, Queen of the Marine, uh, uh, Mother of Dragons. Five points for all the detail. Uh, Jose Mourinho was considering a bid for Paul Pogba to join which football club? Chelsea. That's uh, Man United. Uh, and one more. Which Hemsworth brother flew into Sydney to promote a new film? Douglas. <laughs> no, it was, it was Liam. Definitely, it was definitely Liam. does more the character bits. <laughs> Douglas, the lesser known Hemsworth. One. Great. Well, I don't know how many points you got there. It largely doesn't matter, does it? It was just a, a snapshot into better days. Okay, man. I think I'm going to have to go. I feel like I've just destroyed everyone's career no it was wonderful wait the police they've come to arrest us the police are coming (laughs) well we wanted to talk to you about many things we wanted to talk about a a better day I mean essentially what we're doing at the moment a lot of us are looking back at festival performances in particular a a great comfort because you remember and big shows as well you remember those feelings and everyone united and being together so that's why we're doing this virtual big weekend and we're playing some of our favourite headline sets from years gone by and hello, we're playing Coldplay from Exeter. Well, that was one of the best days of my life. I'm so happy that you were playing it. I was born uh, right next to where we played. Yeah. Something really special about going, I mean, that was right back to where I came from. It felt very special and it was a beautiful day. And uh, yeah, I just feel very grateful that we got to do it. And also timings wise for, for you and, and the rest of the band, it was the Head Full of Dreams tour. And yeah. so you came and did... Big weekend, and then you did Glastonbury. What are your over overarching memories of, of that tour um, as a whole? Being in a room with other people. That's what I now look back on with great fondness. Hmm. Part of my joy in life and feeling like there's a purpose to everything is the feeling of community. So that's why we love playing big shows and hmm. songs where lots of people sing together. It makes me feel alive. It makes me feel part of this big thing, this big family for me of course you're like slightly in charge if you're the singer and stuff but really everybody is important and as we're seeing now there are no concerts without people so everybody is needed and I think that um, that tour was really starting to blur the line for me between band and audience and um, making it all just one thing I'm sorry my, 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 my doorbell just went sorry Chris that's okay and now Barney's barking at it, which is uh, not ideal. Who anyway, the door? is this some sort of showbiz thing? And here comes Matty Healy from the 1975. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, then please like and subscribe it and click the bell icon to keep up to date. For more great audio and video from the BBC, you can listen on the BBC Sounds app and watch on iPlayer.